All right, so we're here. What do we do? So we've got we've got the device over here. We've got this rooftop. I like rooftops. Uh, so why don't we do why don't we do this? Why don't we have Derpy Macross go high? Moving out. Uh, let's see. Do we have a battle scanner? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, I really want to try kill zone. I wonder what the cooldown on it is. Uh, let's see. So I could have everybody go high. That might work, might be a bad idea. We've got that tower there, so we're going to get caught no matter what if we go that direction. Okay, Sounds you know what? Copy. Let's have everybody, let's have everybody move forward. Up here. On the move. I, it looks like there's a detection radius that covers part of the roof or something, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. It probably means we have an enemy in the area, but I don't really know. Come okay. Back. I think this will work, though. Scanning. So we got somebody taking a shot at that thing. Okay. A bit concerning. Uh, you know what? Let's hack it. We well, got an upgraded gremlin, so I should be able to grab this thing. Hey, maybe it will get, actually give me something useful. Worst comes to worst, we just back off and not do anything. But hacking it could actually save my bacon. So we can do... Uh, soldier aim increased by 15 and crit chance for three turns. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go for that one. 80% chance is pretty solid. Okay. Here's the question. Do we also get the tower sight radius or anything? Or does... Okay, well, it, it neutralized it one way or another. And gave me a benefit. So that's that's nice. Okay. Roger that. So let's move him there. Let's see. Let's move Koof here. I'm gonna do Overwatch just in case something happens, because we've got these two bits here and those sides over there. Okay. Closing on target position now. Chances are I'm not gonna run into a whole lot so soon, but you never know. I've always been confused as to what exactly is going on whenever this happens. Oh, hi. Wait, we're still concealed. We know where they are. They don't know where we are. Uh, okay. I'm gonna move her right... Oh. Oh, he got a nice juicy shot from right there. He doesn't, though. Order's confirmed. Moving out. Now he does. Alright, the Koof has to go there. You have to go there. Head to that location. Okay, so I'm a little bit worried about the the console, computer panel, whatever you want to call it. Moving to position. Okay, do you even I've got enemy movement here? Shit. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Moving out. I'm going to get away from that group. Hopefully they fade to obscurity. Good. So we shouldn't key their movements by doing this. Uh, so what I want to do is... I wonder if aid protocol... Oh, 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 oh. I wanted to try this. On lockdown. That seems like a great time for that. So we get a rocket. I can do overwatch. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at them. They're all bunched up like that. Oh, this is going to be Rockets so good. Away. We've been spotted. Okay, so one of them just flat out dies. We've got a muton. Uh, are they all dead? Did I, did I just kill all of them? Guess I did. Well, I guess hitting the explodey looking car... Worked very well for me. Okay, so we know where some enemies are. 
So why don't we have Coco move here? I'm going. That gets us these guys. But that's okay. Let's see. Uh, we get her. She does have a shot on somebody. All right. Problem solved. Okay, so there's here. one down. And then she probably doesn't have an Olympic throwing arm from this distance. No. Okay, well, that's fine. I could move her forward, but I don't really see the point of it. Uh, we've got Koof, who, yep, should have had Coco move for it further forward. Um, there's some kind of item on the ground. So why don't we move Not him closer? So we got these guys here. I could, I could do an acid grenade. It does a ton of damage. It's super tempting. Yeah, let's do it. Cause I don't I don't want to deal with these guys. They're too close for comfort. And one of them is a stun lancer. And getting somebody stunned right now would be very painful. Okay. Oh shit, that just killed him. Yeah. Makes life easier for me. So chances are he just dies on the next turn. Okay. Uh that said, we'll move him Moving. a bit closer. And take that pot shot. Maybe I didn't need to. Maybe I didn't need to use the acid after all. Okay. Okay. So first and foremost, we're in a pretty good spot here. I'm gonna move her closer. I'd like to reload too. We don't get kill zone for a little while, and it doesn't look like my enemies are shooting at the tower anymore. So that's good. This roof has seen a lot of action. I'm actually kind of impressed. I'm on it. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's quick save here. Just in case something it. goes weird. I don't... I try not to save scum much, but it's always one of those where it's... A good idea. Okay, that's just the transmitter. We've got a line on the target. Move to protect that gear at all costs. Overwatch. Okay. Uh... Let's just move him down with the car. We don't... That's... We don't want him to be too far away. Come get some. Okay, somebody's taking shots at it. They're close. Uh, let's see. So let's move the coup forward. Absolutely. Does that get us vision? That's some good stuff. Asset secure. Uh, got okay, it so if we've got that, let's move him closer here, or let's go tire. Is it clear? Scanning. Still nothing. Okay. So let's do, let's re reload. No, let's not reload, because it's a free reload on the next one. So let's just do Overwatch. Uh, I think the thingy is fine. Let's just move, it, move closer it. here. That should be okay. I love the uh, propaganda art they did for this game. It looks really Making cool. So they're right in there. Somewhere. Affirmative. Covering now. How are they even shooting it? They're shooting it through the wall. No, they're not. That's, that's like murky haze. Okay, so let's... Wait. Let's not move the coof. Let's move. Let's move him here. There we go. Found him. Oh, hi. This ranks under things that are mildly too incredibly inconvenient for what I want to do. Uh, let's see. Alternatively. Securing zone. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna back your ass up. That's affirmative. Let's make them come to me a little. 
Okay, we don't have any more grenades. Um, I'm gonna move him I'm slightly going. out. What animal is this from anyway? Twenty-nine percent chance to hit her. Oh, let's Overwatch. just do an Overwatch. Okay. Now I've got. I've got a this, so I don't want to hit the tower if I can. Looks like we're gonna have to. I want to deal with that. Okay. Uh, alternatively, let's just do suppression on the codex. I don't know what the codex is gonna be up to. Oh right, he gets Overwatch for doing this. Okay, so she teleports. Does that count against? Ah, tits. Is that everybody? That's everybody. Well, that sucks. That helps a lot. Oh, she's probably out of ammo. Okay. That's a tongue. Okay. So we've got many inconvenient things going here. Because Koof is broken. He can't do anything. Oi. Okay. Well, let's do the free reload. Because that's our number one objective. Okay, so we've got a huge chance of shooting the Viper, a lower chance of shooting the Codex. Let's take out the Viper. Breathing room. That's probably for just saving people that are getting choked. Okay, so there's one. Now, I can shoot the Codex. Let's shoot the Codex. Not much. Still, damage. And clone. Ah, shit. The clone's full health, though. Oh, that is... Oh, wait, no, 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 it's not. Okay, that's good. Okay, so the Koof needs to move. Not only does the Koof need to move, the Koof really needs to move. Okay, um... We've also got a grenade. Oh, here we go. This is a relatively safe Damn spot. Now. Ready to rock. Nobody's gotten hit yet, which is comparatively quite nice. Um, I don't know if that'll count. Okay, so you know what? Screw it. We'll reload into the next round. I'm just getting out of there. That's good cover anyway, though. Honestly, it means nothing against most of these enemies. Okay. Uh... Let's see. So, we could reload and try and shoot the conduit. We can also just run. Oh. Or we can run and reload our gun. Or, even better, uh, let's do aid protocol to hype. There we go. This way she gets an overwatch shot against the first- oh! Wow! Okay, so hitting, hitting the uh, conduit is actually like a really good idea. Uh, because it split its health in half. Okay, so that goes off, but that doesn't hit anybody. That one teleports in. If I'm lucky... We still get the overwatch against it if it does anything. I've got some serious wounds here. Alternatively... That apparently didn't do... Jack shit. It's really obnoxious. Alright. So he's very injured. Um... Let's see what ev everybody else can do first. 40% chance. You need to reload before anything else. Reloaded. Okay, 46%, 26. Well, if all else fails, shoot that one. Did it die? Is it dead? It's dead. And promotion earned. Okay, so that's good. Now we've got the Koof. He's got a grenade. And it looks like that did exactly what I wanted it to. Maybe less. I don't know. 
Did it hit her? No. So it is unscathed. But that is fine. Because I didn't really need it to take damage from that one. There we go. Okay, so there goes the threat. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That was a little bit more stressful than I thought it was going to be. But it worked out in the end. Wow, 100% shot chance too. Awesome. Okay. Uh can be temporarily delayed, but it can't be stopped. You're on a race against time. Unless you do what I did and just mod the game so it doesn't. I don't even know. Anyway, I'm hoping promotions for everybody. Hey, this is the first time uh this is the first time Koof has not been any sort of MVP. Interesting. I didn't realize that. Well, that's cool. Okay, um... So I guess our next goal is get those, that communication tower done. Get the, uh, GTS built. And start contacting other countries. If I can get to that one Avatar project site, that would be good. Also, I want to do a little bit of armor customization, seeing as I probably have more options now. I might even have new helmet options. Uh, because I have the better armor. I hope so. That'd be really nice. You know, they, lo they lock new helmet options under progressive levels of armor. That'd be cool. Impressive work, Commander. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. I really need more medics. Okay, so we can get... Let's see. Steady hands, extra aim and crit chance. Yes. That is way more useful. Because I believe that means she can just snipe people repeatedly from above. Okay. Uh, so rupture, critical damage ensures the target takes an additional plus three from all attacks. I really like the idea of saturation fire. Um, it uses a lot of ammo. That's a little concerning. But my my thought is saturation fire just totally screws people's cover, uh, which is useful. Not as useful as rupture though. We're going to be up against some tough suckers later. I'm going to... No, I'm, I'm going to go with Saturation Fire on, on the Koof. We'll have somebody else go the other direction. Okay, and we've got another uh, Grenadier. I'm okay with that. We get a lot of loot too. Advanced Cloning. I have to figure out what these PCSs do, because some of these seem really effect uh really useful. A lot of junk, some supplies, good. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Okay, and Koof is recovered. We get Jesus Diaz, who's uh engineer. So Gorilla Tra Tactics School and Increases construction speeds, healing power, avenger power. Oh, I see. These are just the options. It's not that uh, these guys are specialized. It's just that they can do these things. All right, so in that case, let's have Jesus Diaz help clear that out. Because I don't think we can do anything else. But having extra engineers means I can, um, I can leave people in the communications relay for extra uh, communication points. Which is really useful. Okay. Uh, so we can get some supplies. What else can we do here? Black Market, Resistance HQ, Bonfire. Yeah, let's head for the supplies. Avenger, We're gonna need them anyway. Gorilla Tactics School, now operational. Trains rookies, a specific class. Anime now available. A new staff slot. Let's try it. Let's take a look at it. It's a gym. Glorious. Okay, so new combat tactics. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Vulture. Enemies drop an additional item with every timed loot drop. Squad size. Increased by one. Squad size increased by one. Grenadier. Biggest booms. Oh, so we can actually upgrade these things. I'm going to do squad size for the time being. We'll save up for everything else, though. But having five people with me is going to make a huge difference. I'd like to boost it up to six, but we need these supplies first. 
So we get Illyrium, another exosuit. These findings okay. will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Having completed our analysis of the substance tentatively referred to as Illyrium 115, it is clear that this material is unlike any other naturally occurring element on Earth. Presumably the aliens extracted their undoubtedly extensive stores of Illyrium from another planet, but that is beyond my capacity to surmise. What I do know with certainty is that this element is incredibly reactive when exposed to high energy particle fields, providing a source of nearly limitless power that defies all known efficiency standards. Unfortunately, I see no means of replicating or synthesizing the substance with the resources available to us on Earth. The materials we recover from the aliens themselves will likely constitute the entirety of our available stockpile. The commander will have to be careful in choosing how to allocate these precious resources. So now we get Illyrium Conduit, Plasma Rifle, and Powered Armor. Greatly increase the power relays output. Okay, thought so. Um, so that gives me the ability to just boost that. Okay, so we could look into getting powered armor, plasma rifle, or autopsy. Um, you know, I'm going to go for the shield bearer, actually. If I can get my own shields, that could be really useful. Physically, the advent shield bearers are quite similar to the bulk of advent's forces, and that they are the product of careful genetic engineering that generally mirrors the human form. Most of their unique qualities come from a difference in equipment and armor. Components I'm sure Shen would have an interest in examining. Alright, so we can get that taken care of. We have, like, Maybe no we money. Start training someone else to pilot the Avenger. I'm never going to get any work done if Mr. Bradford can't keep the ship steady. Okay. So I guess let's just start training people. Uh, who's a good medic? Let's do, honestly, I don't remember what any of the classes you guys requested were, and it doesn't tell me. So let's just start training Cornelius Z. As a specialist. Okay, uh, so we'll get another exosuit soon, which is good, though apparently not as good as I thought it was. So maybe going with a spider suit might have made more sense. Oh well, too late. Okay, so we're clearing the alien debris. Oh, I see, that's why it's taking less time, because I've got an engineer just sitting around there. Oh no, this is the... Before he made contact, I just assumed the spokesman had died or moved on after the council dissolved. From what little he's told me, it sounds like he managed to gain a position with the Advent government early on, if only to start leaking intel to the Resistance. So we'll get comms in three days, debris out in two, which I believe gets me a fair amount of supplies, though I could be wrong. And then we get some more here. Okay, exosuit complete. Okay, exosuit is useful for the armor. Okay, supplies 91. Carry on. Um... But I need some. Oh, right. I can increase my squad size. So we'll do that before whatever the next combat I mission is. I think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. These shield bearers are not all that dissimilar from their various advent peers. Their armor is perhaps the most distinctive feature differentiating them. As is usually the case, our troops came up with this with a designation for this particular subject, currently known as the shield bearer. Initial indications are that it is tactically on par with Advent's other field unit, humanoid field units, with no particular mental or physical advantages over the officers or units. The primary difference seems to lie in the armor suit itself, which is heavily reinforced with multiple layers of composite material woven from what I can only surmise to be some variation of the alien alloys. I intend on leaving the metallurgy and structural analysis to Shen and her team will no doubt find a means of integrating her findings into various experimental armor concepts of her own. Okay. So that could be useful. Uh, no, we could do data encryption. Let's just keep doing the um, autopsies for the Central time being. Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. Alright, so we get that taken New care of. Objective added. 
So we need to build the shadow chamber. Having developed a greater understanding of the aliens' encryption methods, we can now construct a facility designed specifically to analyze any materials we recover related to their avatar project. I would suggest we begin immediately, Commander. Let's see. So we need to do that. What I'll probably do, upgrade. Power conduit. Elyrium conduit. So this, for 80 supplies, gives me extra power. I'm going to leave that alone for a little while. Uh, we'll see how much supplies I get, but um, we don't need the power immediately. <sighs> okay, getting the shadow relay. Okay, fine. We'll do that. Let's let's get this upgraded. Uh, power relay. Oh, I see. Upgrade. Power conduit. Power relay upgraded. Room to grow. Okay, so that gives me just enough room to start building the shadow chamber, but I don't have enough money. Well, that's fine. We'll get there. Actually, we've got unstaffed engineer. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. So we're going to start clearing that out. That'll give me some more supplies. I do like this. Okay. Uh, Guerrilla Tactics School. I assume this just gives me leader training station. Oh, this is a, um, I believe this is a mod I downloaded. Uh, let's see. Add station where soldiers of Sergeant Raycar Greater can train special leadership abilities. Only, except in dire emergencies, only one leader may go on a mission at a time. So choose carefully whom you promote as they cannot be assigned to squads with another leader. Yeah, so, um... This is something completely separate, but uh, I downloaded a mod that lets me do leader training for a character, and they will give allies a, bo a boost while they're out and about, which I think could be kind of interesting. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's just keep going with what we're doing for the time being. We get Resistance, resistance communications facility now operational. Okay, so let's... Let's throw myself here, I guess. So that increases our thing. And then I can also do an additional comp station for an engineer for even more. We'll leave that alone for the time being. Idle staff proving ground. Empty him out. Okay, seeing as we actually are starting to get some extra engineers here. I don't have enough supplies for anything else. So we're just going to throw the engineers into the power relay. Uh, because what else am I going to do? Don't know. Idle staff proving ground. What? No. That's a lie. I don't think I have any unstaffed engineers. Can't put any more onto that room. So, what I'd like to do is get to this other exposed power coil. Though, I guess it's kind of a low priority at this point. Uh, we've got plenty of contacts. So, what we're going to want to do... Let's finish grabbing these supplies. So he's done. I don't want to do view soldier. Oh, personal combat sims. So New I guess I can't do things. Okay. Uh Pickings are slim, but I'm hoping we find a few more recruits who can handle a wrench. I could use the help. Okay, so let's throw in another one. Uh I guess we'll do a need a name. I'm probably going to pick several specialists here. I've got a fair amount of grenadiers and whatever, but I haven't gotten specialists recently. Okay, so let's grab this. Okay, so now we got some money. Uh, now let's go make contact with Western Europe. Setting course for the Western European Ward. Because I want to get to this facility and blow it up, which should speed things along a lot. Attempting to establish... Commander, we've located one of their facilities. Okay, so I can't get to that one yet. Though that does give us a place... Uh... To go after soon. Yeah, uh... Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. 
This is why I downloaded that mod. Okay. Can only further our advances, Commander. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt so they can... thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. So you can get advanced grenade launchers and plasma grenades. Having never seen any of the previous Muton variants personally, I can only go by the stories I've heard from Central Officer Bradford and the others. As they say, the current breed is apparently on the smaller side, although considerably more agile than the originals. Internally, the subject maintains all the hallmarks of extensive genetic modification, with additional musculature and bone protecting the internal organs from any risk of direct contact. The aliens spent, clearly spent a great deal of time and effort honing the abilities of the Muton as a frontline combat soldier. I had heard that our soldiers believed the Mutons to be part of the uh, tribal society, at least originally, based on their unusual battle cries and markings seen in the field. Having finally got a closer look, I can confirm the presence of unusual scarification that could certainly be attributed to ritualistic behavior of some kind. Okay, so that larger effect radius to any launch projectile, and a uh, plasma grenade, which more boom. Okay, uh, turret breakdown? Yeah, let's do the turret the breakdown. The two days. see employed by Advent throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. All right, uh, so we got that. Now Commander? we have some new Proving Ground projects that I might be able to do. I can't. I need a Lyrium course. Uh, apparently I need a lot of them. Good to know. I might have to start buying some, though I don't think I have any intel to do so with. Uh, I got a little. Okay, whatever. So let's just continue. Oh, we got a retaliation site. Well, I guess we know where we're going. Setting course for Eastern European Ward. At least we're making some progress here. I should go for that thing that reduces contact time. Either way, though. Very difficult. Ooh, okay, this is going to be a problem. Guess I'll bring my good guys. So I guess with that, I will see you guys on the next episode of XCOM 2. Hopefully we won't get murdered by a flesh beast this time, though I'm just substantially better equipped than uh, that time around. So, with that, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.